What up, peeps? Yo. Welcome to today's vlog. We got Kyle and Ryan here. Yeah. Adam texted me, he said he's gonna be a little bit late. But um, we have a mystery box to pull, and this is for Animation Eddie. And you guys can check his channel out. Um, I'll put a link in the, in the pinned comment and description down below. But he's planning on doing a stop motion video with the stuff that he gets from the mystery box that he ordered. He wanted me to film pulling it, but I don't think I want to show the items just because I want it to be more of a surprise and I want you guys to, to watch his video when it goes up. Uh, but I also wanted to mention he has a, a film on his channel called The Misadventures of Bot Pool, which is a fundraiser for the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention. All the proceeds that they get from that goes to that foundation. So I would highly recommend you guys check that out. Yeah. There will be a link to that as well. So um, definitely check it out, show some support. And we're going to pull some orders this morning, including his mystery box. I wanted to say thank you to all of the new people who have subscribed to the channel recently. Uh, the growth has been awesome. Doing collaborations obviously helps and hope that the new people will enjoy the videos. Um, in the past 28 days, according to YouTube, we have had over 600 new subscribers, which is a lot for us. So um, thank you guys for checking us out and hopefully you'll stick around. What do we have here, Ryan? Uh, nothing. Good luck. <laughs> I'm not supposed to see it. No! Don't touch it. Don't even look at it. <laughs> oh. uh, it's a trade-in. It's a collection it's that a is big one. dropped off. Yeah. That it's going to take some time to go through. Yeah. <laughs> it's an understatement. Just, just a little bit of time. Here's a little sneak peek. You guys know this song? <laughs> That's one of my favorite songs. <laughs> it's a good one. It's a good one. You like that song? <laughs> it's not my style. <laughs> A lot of the trades were dropped off today and unfortunately they have not been fully completed yet so you'll probably see a bunch of trades in tomorrow's video but we do have some really awesome stuff to go through today uh it should be two clips so you're gonna get this one and then one later in the video so first up we have some manuals here spider-man x-men arcades revenge donkey kong country pitfall super caesar's palace top gear super pinball behind the mask mario all-stars and raiden trad and then just random piles here. We have Halo, Combat Evolved, Black Ops, Halo 3, Skyrim, Halo 4, Glover, which was my staff pick the other day, but I picked the N64 version. I never played this one. I think someone in the comments said something about the controls not being as good on this one or something about the, the PS1 version being inferior. Um, Mario 3, Rise Son of Rome, Carnival Games, Water Sports. I don't know if I've ever seen that cover. Dancing with the Stars, Balls of Fury, We Play, very poor condition. Um, I'm actually going to double check that because usually we put poor on the tag. Uh, that one doesn't say it. Like that one says poor. Uh, we Fit Plus, We Fit, Championship Boxing, and Thrillville. And we have Horizon Zero Dawn, Dark Souls Remastered, Modern Warfare 3, Need for Speed Shift, Skyrim Legendary Edition, Advanced Wars, Days of Ruin, Pokemon Ranger, Mystery Dungeon Blue Rescue Team, Whack-A-Mole, Zoo Tycoon DS, Nintendogs, Zoo Tycoon 2, Nintendogs, Mario Kart, Spectrobes, Spore Creatures, Animal Crossing Wild World, and Pausing Claws Pet Vet. Kyle's looking for a staff pick. Oh my god. <laughs> We're low on footage today, so I have to <laughs> I have to film you looking for a game for your staff pick. <laughs> <laughs> this is how we do it though whoever's turn it is just walk around the store try to find a game you've played and enjoyed and then talk about it for a minute yeah nothing in that cabinet well, i was thinking <laughs> but I might, I might change that. where's he going next oh my God. <laughs> <wrong with> you? <laughs> what who did this Pretty taking games out and just like stacking them on top you know freaking customers. savages too easy to put them back. So. Don't worry, don't worry, Ryan. I did it. It's the same type of people that don't put their carts back at the grocery store. <laughs> They're just like, oh, the employees will do it. Well, they will. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen the cart narc videos? Oh yeah. 
Oh yeah. God, they're so good. <laughs> and he just puts bumper stickers on their on their cars. He's like, oh, cart mark. And he's just like, I don't put my cart away. Like, I don't know what the bumper sticker says. But the people get so mad. Oh. They like want to fight this guy and like run him over. <laughs> like, stop messing with my car. He's and like, he, I'm the cart mark. <laughs> he's like, he's like, you you didn't put your cart back. Hey, can you put your cart back? I get away from my car. He's like, no, nope, you didn't put your cart back. <laughs> A few times it gets like oh, almost to the point of fist fights. Like, oh, yeah, geez. you should watch some. Okay. So should the peeps. Yeah. What's going on, guys? I got a staff pick for you today, and it's a movie this time. It is Chronicle on Blu-ray. Um, this is one of my favorite movies of all time. It's kind of like a real, realistic depiction of what would happen if some teenagers got telekinetic powers. Um, it's basically about three friends, and they go to this party, and outside... Um, they find this cave that has this like strange rock in it, like a meteorite. Um, and then when they wake up, or they black out, sorry, and then they wake up and find out that they have tele telekinetic powers. Uh, they start developing their powers and seeing what they can do with them. And it gets really strange and interesting. It's kind of like a sci-fi movie, but I really like the story and the characters and how they did it. So you should definitely check it out. We have a lot of shipping to go out. Um, as of closing the store today, we were 100% caught up with shipping entirely, both for the store and for eBay and everything. Um, I'm always trying to stay up on eBay because I have to. Uh, but with the store, we get so many orders every day, it's a little bit difficult to keep up. But most of this was from today. Um, some bigger stuff in here. You can see some bigger boxes that Godzilla sold. <laughs> that one in there has an Animal Crossing Monopoly and then a couple other Animal Crossing plushies and some toys and stuff. But uh, these are going to be going out tomorrow. Today is Sunday, the day that I'm filming. So Monday, the postman will stop by and pick all this stuff up. All right. After trying like four games. Yeah. We finally found a two-player one. We found one, guys. Do you not know which games are two-player? No. I'm going to be Marissa. <laughs> oh, I want to be ludicrous. You're gonna be ludicrous? Wait. The heck? Who knows? Let's let's just go. It's not on two player. Better be. Okay. Oh, okay. That was jump. I guess there's a jump button. Oh, wait. Am I? You're on the bottom. Okay. You're Kenny. Cool, that's the one I want. Why are you going backwards, Cooper? I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> Yay, I'm gonna win! <laughs> you are gonna win. You're literally winning. Yay! Twist! What a twist! What a twist! <laughs> Aw, oh, yeah, loop de loops. Cooper, you're way behind. <laughs> no way, man, I'm catching up. Not even. <laughs> Ryan's so far ahead of you right now. <laughs> like three seconds. Yay. Cause I'm it was awesome. five seconds earlier, so I am <laughs> catching up. <gasps> no. How does it do this like a racing game? There's really nothing to it. Like, you just go, you just go back and forth. Yeah. Like weird... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is my kind of racing no game. Yeah, I won. No, like, I win. If you're Cooper and don't know which direction you should be going. Kenny wins. Yay. <laughs> I'm Kenny. Kenny sucks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this game's, uh, this game not very fun. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. You're really tall and I can't reach. Would you mind grabbing me something off the top shelf there? These are the rest of the trades we have to show you for today, guys. There's some really awesome stuff in here. So first up, some Game Boy Advance games. These ones here are $2.99 each. Nothing too special. And then these three are $5 each. And then we have a couple PSP ones, Donkey Kong Land 2, or Donkey Kong Land 3, sorry. And then a blue original DS. The hinges on these things are always really bad. We do not take them unless they are good, and this one is. And then we have some Super Nintendo games. We have the cheaper ones on the left, more expensive ones on the right, but I, they're not in order of price as far as I know. They're just separated like this because obviously the cheaper ones get bagged. Ones that go in the glass case don't. So we have Spider-Man, X-Men, Arcades Revenge, Urban Strike, Scooby-Doo Mystery, Super Caesar's Palace, Super Pinball Behind the Mask. You can see we got some of the manuals for these earlier. Populous, 
Top Gear, Pitfall the Mine Adventure, Stunt Race FX, and Super Battle Tank War in the Gulf. And then we have Donkey Kong Country, Super R-Type, uh, PGA European Tour, Tetris Attack, Darius Twin, or Darius, however you say it, Goof Troop, Yoshi's Island, Tetris and Dr. Mario, Super Mario World, and Raiden Trad. Raiden, Raiden, however you say it. But we do have one more stack of games, and we are saving the best for last here. There's some random stuff on top, but there's some really good stuff. So we have Test Drive, uh, Off-Road, Wide Open, Metal Slug Anthology, Dark Stalkers, Guilty Gear Judgment, Star Wars Battlefront Renegade Squadron, then we have Animal Crossing for the GameCube, and then we get into the really good stuff. And these came from like multiple different trade-ins, which is pretty cool. So, first is Ghost Lion for the NES. Pretty uncommon game. This one's in pretty good shape as well. You can see there's like nothing really wrong with the label. It's got that little bit of discoloration on the front there, but other than that, it's pretty good. There were some stickers and stuff on it that the guys got off. There's like some security stickers on it, uh, but pretty uncommon NES game. I don't believe we've ever had this traded into the store. Next, you probably could see it, but it's Wild Arms 5, the series 10th anniversary edition. The tag's not on here because this is actually possibly a condition upgrade for my copy. It does have this, like, scratching on there. Uh, but other than that, it's in really, really nice condition. My copy at home is also really, really nice. So I'm going to take this home tonight and compare. This was on somebody's wish list, though, so uh, they should be coming tomorrow to pick it up. Um, you know, pick up my other one. But both of them are, if, if it's not an upgrade, it's going to be really close. So either way, it's a good condition one that we're selling. Next is Wild Arms Alter Code F, which is just super expensive, and it does have the bonus disc. So that's super cool. And then the last one is a Super Nintendo game, and that is Mega Man X3. So overall, not in bad condition. This game is always has a trashed label. Uh, this one does have some wear to the end label there, to like where it uh, folds over the edge. A um, little worn, but overall, it's not too bad. This is actually pretty good for a copy of this game. Uh, so it does have property of Hollywood video on the back. You can always swap the back, though. Uh, but it is marked as poor condition because of that wear on the label. But overall, it's not too bad, and it's super cool to see some pretty rare games come in. I feel like it's been a while. We've had a lot of, like, filler. We've had a lot of good stuff come in, but nothing like, you know, we haven't had any three or four hundred dollar games come in super recently, so it's really cool to see this. And the guy that traded in these three Ghost Line was from somebody else, but the guy that traded in these three actually bought a Vectrex from us. So we actually sold two of our three Vectrexes in the past week, which is super, super awesome. Uh, we still have one left, and it is the boxed one that came from my personal collection. So hopefully that one will sell soon as well, but either way, I'm super happy to see some rare stuff come back in. So Ryan and I played that uh, Uni Racers game earlier, and it was not very good, but we were just trying to grab a game really quick to film something before uh, he left for the day because it was after closing. And uh, so for the question of the day today, I wanted to ask you guys, what is a good two-player game that you would recommend that you can just pick up and play in like just a couple minutes? I'm not talking about like a co-op RPG or something, obviously. Everyone knows that the best RPG is Champions of Norath, but I'm just talking about a game that you can pick up and play really quickly in a situation like what we had today, where we had like literally five minutes before he left, and we just wanted to film something for the vlog. So let us know what your recommendations are. It can be for any console, and uh, I'm not necessarily just asking so that we can pick one of the games and play it. I'm just asking, in general, what is a fun two-player game that you'd recommend that doesn't take a lot to get into. So let me know in the comments down below. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you again tomorrow.